Whipta, if I said no to my boyfriend's birthday request? My BF, 20M, and I, F20, have been together for a year and a half. I really love him, and lately our relationship has been really great. We had some rocky times and low sex life, but things have gotten better. His birthday is next month, and I keep asking him what he wants. Everyone has been asking him, and he won't give anyone an answer. He says he doesn't want anything. Except for one thing. He wants anal sex. We don't regularly have anal because it's uncomfortable for me. It hurts, and it makes me feel gross. I already struggle with insecurities, and anal doesn't help. He gets upset with me when I tell him that that's not an actual gift, and that he needs to give me different ideas. He says that if I don't give him anal for his birthday, we're breaking up because I'm not caring enough about his wishes and that whatever I wanted for my birthday, he would go to great lengths to get me. Would I be the asshole if I refused? TLDR. Boyfriend wants anal for his birthday and is threatening to break up. Ask yourself really honest questions. Why would you love someone that threatens you with abandonment when you don't give them sexual gratification the specific way they want it? How is you doing something you don't want to do a demonstration of love? How is this request loving towards you, and not totally selfish in its disregard of your pleasure, comfort, and actual feelings as a human? He said give him anal so what she needs to do is get the strap on slash J. And when he inevitably refuses, turn it back around on him and ask why he won't do something that's so so important to you. When he says it's painful, not pleasurable and or degrading, just kind of look at him and ask what makes his butthole so different from yours. Exactly. This is how I used to respond to past partners who asked me for anal. It is not something I have any desire to do. I said, sure, you first. This asshole is not asking for anal. He is demanding it and threatening her if she doesn't. She's 20 years old and in danger for fuck's sake. Just because you have had multiple asshole sexual partners doesn't mean she should have to put up with the first guy to abuse her. Love this response. OP your NTA. Also, you'll hate to hear this. But you're young so get out of this relationship and find someone who respects boundaries you have and you'll be much happier. You deserve sex that feels good for you too. This right here. Respect in a relationship is priceless. Love yourself as much as or more than you love him or anyone else. Like an ultimatum over anal sex as a birthday gift or breaking up is ridiculous and so sad. Yeah, this is so gross. He's trying to coerce Opie into a sex act for his birthday. Coerce consent is not true consent. True consent is freely and enthusiastically given. Opie, he's not worth it. Opie, please just leave him preemptively. This in my actual experience doesn't get better. My experience it turned to the dude thinking what he wanted from me he could take whenever even when I said no and I was your same age. Threatening abandonment over a sex act is only gonna be the start. And he seems like he thinks he's owed this. You took the words right out of my mouth. My first thought was anal sex is still sex. He is attempting to coerce her to have sex with him. Not okay in any way, shape, or form. Sex of any kind required enthusiastic consent, or it doesn't happen. Period. Doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. Doesn't matter what kind of sex it is, or what sex act it is. Also, any partner who threatens to end the relationship to get something they want, in general, is not a good person. He is showing you who he is. Listen to him. Call a spade a spade. He only cares about his wants. He doesn't care how he gets them. He is manipulative AF. A loving partner would never put their own wants above your discomfort and threaten you. And they shouldn't even want to do something, especially something sexual, that you clearly are uncomfortable with in the first place. The fact he doubled down and turned to manipulation and guilting you is disgusting. Buy a strap-on and give him anal. Yes, this is the answer. He unwraps the strap-on, and she says with a smile he's getting his wish tonight. Something new for both of us. I wouldn't want her to do that as funny as it is the fact he knowingly wants it even though it hurts her and is being rapey by saying you're worth nothing if you don't give me anal sex says to me he'd react very badly loudly crying face. You're right. If there is any chance the guy could respond violently she needs to break up and stay far away from him. Yep. This is sexual coercion. OP. You break up with him. Yeah the rapey vibes are the worst part. Just save the headache and throw away the manipulative rapist. Give it to him in front of all their families and very loudly tell him that since he's been begging for it, she's finally ready to peg him. 
make sure to stress that she doesn't want to break up just for refusing one specific sex act, so his whole family knows how rapey he is. I mean, don't do this, just break up because he's terrible, but if you wanted to be petty, an audience would probably make it both safer and more hilarious. Open gift in front of his parents. If parents ask why, explain that it was his wish. This guy does not love you. If he did, he would put your comfort, wishes, and pleasure first. Ultimatums? Seriously? For his birthday, you can give him the gift of a single life instead. Yup. Anal is much more enjoyable for people with a prostrate. I always said that when I was asked, pre-marriage. I do not have a prostate so no. Not into pain when I'm supposed to be feeling pleasure. Oxymoron at its finest. True story my son said recently. We talk about everything and was discussing pegging, to which he's violently opposed. I was like, once you get past the initial discomfort, your aces, that prostate action is banging, pun intended. He said, what kind of shit that? God got serious jokes. Putting a man's G spot I in his ASS? That's some bullshit. The look on his face, I LMAO, but he wasn't amused. H.A. We don't regularly have anal because it's uncomfortable for me. It hurts, and it makes me feel gross. That's three reasons, which is four more than you need. You don't want him touching you in that way. He says that if I don't give him anal for his birthday, we're breaking up because I'm not caring enough about his wishes and that whatever I wanted for my birthday, he would go to great lengths to get me. If you don't do something that hurts you for my pleasure, I won't associate with you, is a bargain dressed up as a threat. I'd take him up on the offer and tell him exactly where he can stick his little ultimatum. Up his own ass. He wanted anal, right? Coercion is not consent. Coercion is not consent. Coercion is not consent. Your BF is coercing you into an act you are not comfortable with and do not want to engage in. Asking you to do something you find repellent as a birthday present, whether it's anal or anything else is extremely wrong. Huge red flags here, honey. Don't wait for him to pressure you more or break up with you. Dump his ass and walk away. Being lonely is better than being abused and miserable. And this is a form of emotional and sexual abuse. Definitely NTA. Let's say she gives him his birthday gift. Then what? What other kinks is he going to want to try? Everything in a loving relationship is fun to try, but only if both want to try it. She needs to run and never look back. I believe that sexual manipulation is deplorable. Let's say she gives him his birthday gift. Exactly. It's abuse, and if she gives in, it's just going to do is kick the kin down the road. Once he gets his way with this threat once, he'll use it every time he wants something. The offer she should take him up on here is to let him leave her. Boy, what a nasty manipulation of him. Yuck. Why would he want something what is hurting you? NTA but offer to peg him, so he has an anal experience. A huge number of guys get off on causing women pain and making them uncomfortable. I'm convinced that this is the primary reason that anal is so popular among men in the first place. I think part of it is that porn has glorified it so much. Sends the message that it is the best sex ever. I totally agree with you. Back when I was in high school 80s, it was all about blowjobs. Thanks to porn it's about anal face with open mouth dashing away. I was waiting to pick my daughter up in high school. She got in the car and I was waiting to pull out. Freshman girl, so 14-ish was walking by and I made a comment about how pretty she was. Daughter looked and said, Oh, that's shit dick. Can you even imagine? Fucking broke my heart pensive face. I dated a girl once who enjoyed it and wanted it more than vaginal. It kind of bothered me because I kept thinking of what was up there and would instantly get turned off. Nope. If the OP thinks it's not okay, it is not okay. If he wants to break it off because you won't give up the back door in trance, move on. 20 is young. You can find someone else that's better if you want someone else, I promise. I'm not saying she was lying, but I think a lot of women confuse. I know that men enjoy this and will find me sexually appealing if I like it with I actually enjoy this. I know because I used to be the same way. Not necessarily with anal but with other stuff that I didn't actually like or want, like threesomes. Men like threesomes and will think I'm hot if I want one, ipso facto. I like threesomes. What? Your body. Your choice. End of discussion and here, end of the relationship. He's not asking for a new bike here. He's asking you to do something for and to him that you do not consent to. And, 
He adds to the insult here by making your compliance a condition on continuing the relationship a clear threat. Done. Next customer, please. NTA. He doesn't see her as a person. He sees her as a body part and an object. NTA. Also, if it's painful for you, it's because your BF is too much of a dipshit to look into what you're supposed to do to make anal viable, e.g. lube, dilators, extensive foreplay, etc. This MF is not worth your fucking time. Not to target you specifically, but can we just accept that anal is painful for some people regardless of prep? Fucking period. Thank you. Honestly, prep is more to make it extra pleasurable for people with prostates. If you haven't got one, sure you might still enjoy anal, but it's not automatically a fun time for everyone with the right prep. This is coercive sexual abuse. Please don't allow someone to treat you this way. Time to find a better partner. I know it's scary to end a relationship, but you should for yourself. This comment should be higher. Same overall message as most, but, but enough comments have called this out for what it is. Unacceptable sexual abuse. Coercive sexual abuse. That's a great way of putting it. It's absolutely sick that someone could even try to manipulate their partner like this. Oh, please listen. I used to date this kind of guy and only after one third of my life. An entirely new healthy AF relationship and thousands of dollars worth of therapy. Did I realize it wasn't truly love? And I'm still working through it. Coercive sexual abuse are the exact words my therapist used. And for the record, giving in after saying no over and over again, and just putting up with it, to keep the peace is not consent. And saying yes through tears is not consent either. Please leave this bastard. Love yourself, and wait for someone else. You will find better. And you will find someone who loves you, and could never imagine doing anything to hurt you. Some of the things my current partner says now shock me because I didn't realize how horribly I was being treated. I hope you realize the fact that you even have to ask this question is really your answer. Leave. Unfortunately, my husband said the exact same thing weeks before his birthday and I refused. I told him no and gave the exact same reasoning you gave. Told him it hurts and makes me uncomfortable and makes my stomach hurt and feel weird and I all around feel disgusting and used afterwards. He told me I didn't love him and even went as far as accusing me of doing it with someone else when he knew he was my first and only intimate partner ever. On his birthday, we were intimate the regular way and he pulled out and did it anyway even though I was actively telling him no. I felt so disgusted and disrespected. I cried and he said I had ruined his birthday, so I ended up apologizing and cried in the bathroom while cleaning myself up he played his game. I couldn't stop shaking. We went to bed. He cuddled me and then turned over because I was still shaking and it annoyed him. I felt so violated and just disrespected next day he acted like it was nothing. And I still felt so horrible. Three days later I left and it's been four months now and I'm so glad I did. I have to wait a year in my state before I can file for divorce and ick how to change my username on Reddit. If he's telling you you don't care about him or his birthday and is telling you to leave then leave. That is coercion. What my husband did to me is rape and coercion. Please don't take this lightly at all. This is a sign to get out now. Someone who values and respects you would not want to do anything sexual with you that will hurt you or make you feel uncomfortable. Please don't take his disregard for how you feel about anal lightly. I'm begging you.